In this video, we will see how to create our custom BAPIs. So let us see the agenda for this session. So first we will create our importing and exporting structures and we will make use of that structures in our function modules. So we will enable these function modules as remote function modules. Then we will also create our business objects and afterwards we will insert our fun remote function modules into our BUs that is business objects. So first we have to create our import and export structures. For that we have to go to our ABAP dictionary and we will create a structure with the name zbappy underscore matner. So here I am providing an example here. So we have made a structure and we have made a particular field name. So this is our structure here with a particular field name that is matner. So then we have created one structure here, then we will create another structure. So for that we have to repeat our steps. So now we will create another structure in uh, ABAP dictionary that is SE11. So this time we have named it as zbappy underscore mara. So here we are also creating all these fields that is matner, mtart, mbrsh and meins. So these two structures have been created. These are our importing and exporting structures. Now we will create our function module and for that we have to go to SC37 that is our function builder. So here suppose we have created this particular function module that is zbappy underscore mat and get and det. So here we since we are making our function module we have to we have to specify our importing and exporting parameters. So for that here we are passing our parameter name as matner and associated type this is the associated type z bappy underscore matner and we are we have to make it as pass by value since BAP in bappies we have to make our we have to pass our values using pass by values since pass by reference is not supported in bappies then we have to specify our exporting parameter say as we have specified our importing parameters so here we are passing the parameter name as mara uh, which is of the type z bappy underscore mara and this is also a pass by value and at the last we have to specify our return parameter and return parameter should be of the type bappy ret2. Now there would be a source code tab and in the source code tab we have to write our code here. So suppose this is the code that is select single star from mara into corresponding fields of mara itself where this condition we have to provide where matner equals to matner and end of function we have to save it and in the attributes tab there would be a remote enabled radio button we have to check it and save it check it and activate it. So this way we are, have created our function module that is remote function module we have created. So in the next step we have to create our BO that is business object and we have to pass our um, we have to insert our RFC into that BO. So let us create our BO. So to create our BO we have to go to transaction code SW01 and we have to provide our business object name. So suppose we have provided our business object name as this ZYBUS1001. So this is our name of the business object. Then we have to click on create and specify some details. So this is the detail that we are providing. For all this we have provided the same name and for the program name we are providing underscore PRG. And when this, the, when this is done, we have to put our cursor on that particular method that has been created and we have to select utility, uh, we have to select API methods and go to add methods. When that, that is done, we will get another screen that is this one. Here we have to provide our function module name and press on next. This is the next button here. Since we have provided our function module name that we have created already in SE37 and then we have to create, click on next. When that is done, we have to click again on the next, then we will get this particular wind pop up where you want to click on yes and when this is done, our RFC will be converted into business object itself. So we have to just click in and then come back again. So at this stage, we have uh, converted our RFC into BAP itself. Now we have to insert our R RFC into the BO that is business object. So here we have this object type, we have to go to object type and change the release status to implemented. Once that is done, we have to again go to the object type and then go to change release status to released. Now our RFC that is the BAPI is released and it is good to be tested. 
so this business object is released and it can be visible or used by non sap systems moreover mapping from non sap fields to bapi fields will be done by cons non sap consultant we as a abap consultant our duty is to develop a particular bapi and give it to non sap consultant now it is their duty how to utilize in their particular code so with the help of a simple example i will explain how to create bapis in this session we will be seeing how to create a custom bapi and make it use in non sap server or maybe an sap server itself so for that first step would be to create import and export structure and for that we will be creating structure in ddic so we will go to se11 t code so here we will create a structure named zbapi underscore matner so here i will give a short description structure 1 and the component would be matner and the component type should be matner itself so there you go so that has been done so now we will create a second structure but first i will just go to extras and enhance my structure here can be enhanced so that's done save check and activate so that's done first our first structure is completed now going back and now we will create another structure so this would be our export structure so first we created our import structure now we will cre create our export structure so it should be that bapi underscore mara we have given the structure short description is structure 2 now we will give multiple components here so first one should be matner component type should be matner itself and second should be mtart mta mtart mtart then mbrsh mbrsh and at the last meins so here we go so i am just enhancing my structure here so that's done now save check and activate so here we go so we have created our import and export structures here through ddic now the second step is to create function module and make it as remote enabled so that we can use it in non sap server or maybe in the sap server itself and for that first let us make a function module and let us go to se37 where we can make our function modules so here i will create a custom function module with the name zbapi underscore mat underscore get underscore det create so i have to give a function group here so suppose i am giving the predefined function group and short description function module save so it is function module name is reserved for scp so we just click on continue so now that is done now here we can see this there are importing and exporting tabs here so we have to Im place our structures that we have made previously in th into the import and similarly for the export so here we will write our parameter name here so we have created matner and associated type was zbapi underscore matner which is which was the first structure that we have created for import and we will just click on this pass by value reference so we are specifying importing parameters as with the pass by value reference so we have to click on we have to check this box here and give a particular short description so let us just give it as bappy that bappy underscore matner so that's done so our importing tab is done now coming to the exporting tab 
so we have to specify exporting parameters now and we will also specify it by path by value so here we will write mara and associated type is the second structure that we have created z bappy underscore mara it should be passed by value so that's done now we will also create a return type return parameter type and it should be like this bappy re2 this is the predefined one bappy ret2 and it should be this so now that's also done now in the source code we have to write our code here so let us write select single star from mara into corresponding fields of table fields of mara itself where matner equals to we have given the name as matner itself so it should be sim similar so that's it i will just save it check and these are just warning we can ignore it and activate so that's done now we have created our function module but we haven't checked it as remote function enabled so in the attribute section we can just click on this radio button remote enabled and now just save it check and activate it so now in this function module is remote enabled we have saved it and activated it so that's done now we have created our import structure we have also created our export and we in the st third step we have created a simple bappy in which we have plotted our import and export parameters moreover we have also given our return type and then we have maintained our source code where we are getting a single record from mara into the corresponding fields of mara where matner equals to matner so this was on this based on this condition we are getting some data and at the last we have made it as remote enabled so that's done now what we have to do we have to create a business object and to create business object we will go to transaction code sw O1. So here is our business object. We have to give a name here in the object slash interface type. So suppose let us give it as ZYBUS1001. So now we are clicking on create. So this is the one. I will just copy this. ZPRG. So here we have to give a program name and application type it should be star let us make it as cross application click on save local object so here we go now we have to place our cursor on the method and click on utilities then api method and add method so here we can see utilities here so here is api method let us click on add method so here we have to provide a function module name that we have made just right now so it was something like this underscore det so we have gone to sc37 there we have created our function module so that function module we have to pass it here so now we have to click on this next step moving forward again with the next step now here an extend program pop-up is coming we have to click on yes so this makes sure that our function module is now remote enabled now just click on save and go back so that's it now we have to do two more steps so here in the object type we have to select object type and here just change release status to implemented local object so that is also done now again click on object type and change release status to released so our this object interface is uh, can be transportable to any SAP or non-SAP system. 
So now our business object is released and it can be visible or used by non-SAP system. So basically mapping from non-SAP fields to BAPI fields will be done by non-SAP consultants. And the remote connection between SAP and non-SAP servers are it is basically done by basis consultant. We as a technical or ABAP consultant, our just role is to just develop ABAPI and give it to the non-SAP consultant so that they can use. So this is the way we can create a simple custom BAPI. So hope all these steps are clear to you. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.